the party show. It is Thursday, May 12th at 11.35 p.m. And this is Forex Trading Analysis for Friday, May 13th, 2011. Let's take a look at the Kiwi Swiss. This one had a 69.75 entry and it did fire off. It did not go the 20 ticks that we were looking. We were only looking for 20 ticks. It fell four ticks shy and then it stopped out. So this one wound up losing 50 ticks and uh, you can see here it's forming another uh, narrow range candle here so i uh, know i don't see a trigger on it right here so let's look at the majors let's just look at a couple more of these crosses I, nothing really setting up but there are uh, there are definitely some patterns that could be in the works for over the next couple of sessions here okay here's the uh, the aussie cad All right we were looking at that for a potential uh support down a little bit further but it wound up getting a bounce before that nice hammer it formed but no real pattern and the euro came a little shy of the lower keltner here you can see in friday session it's just kind of chopping around so far here's the aussie dollar no real setups here it sucks that we have to end the week with that stop out but it was a small one so uh, it wasn't that bad of one but uh, would have been nice to get the 20 ticks so we could have moved the stops but yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. You've seen some of the moves in some of these and, and some of the triggers we've had. So you know the potential uh, is good to, to capture some nice pips. But uh, unfortunately, the uh, flip side of that is sometimes they stop out too. Definitely would never say that uh, every trade that I look at at the video is a winner. That's absolutely ridiculous. And not every trade that I take is a winner either. So, <clears throat> all right, here's the... Swiss yen, it needs to finish up Friday session, obviously, and then we'll see if we get a uh, three-day um, three coil here. But right now, I don't have to wait till Friday's over. There's the Aussie yen, there's the pound yen, okay, there's the pound Swiss, Aussie Swiss. Uh, this is what we just looked at when we first uh, started the video, so... Nothing setting up, but um, there will likely be something to look at at the beginning of next week. So just wait and see. Wait how these patterns uh, tend to play out. And then from there, we'll likely be able to uh, bracket some levels and watch for trades. That's it. Have a great Friday the 13th. And uh, have a great weekend. I will talk to everybody over the weekend with the next Forex video.